I wouldn't say it's a nice car to drive on a road. It's uh, noisy, it's warm, but it is fun. That I can tell you. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. I've been around Beatles all my life. My dad raced oval track in the early 90s. I'm uh, Louis Cluter, and uh, this is my 1969 VW Beetle. This Beetle has got a VW Type 4 motor, which is similar to what was used in the Porsche 914s. Still air-cooled, came as a 2-litre air-cooled engine, um, but after we're done with it now, it received a stroker crankshaft, bigger bore kit, it's almost 2.7 litre, high compression, methanol engine, and turbocharged. As it is here right now, it makes about 400 horsepower. So it's pretty strong for a for Beetle engine. The motor came out of a old combi type 4, similar to the bay window combis. And those, those are what they were most commonly found in. If you look at the Porsche side, it was 914, which is quite an ugly duckling, square, square car, mid-mount engine. They had exactly the same motor, but different cylinder heads. On the motor itself, it's got a SCAT 80mm crankshaft, Carrillo H-beam rods, Waseco strutter top pistons, worked cylinder heads. It's got a WEP 86 camshaft, the turbo is a GT3582R with a 0.82 exhaust housing, which is normally on the, on the big side, but as it's a big capacity engine with high compression, the turbo comes on pretty quick. We're not running a lot of boost on it. Um, street to use, it's about half a bar boost when we drag it close to one bar, but that's about all that it'll, it'll, it'll take. The compression is 12 to one, so it is a, a bit of an issue with the turbo. Drafting wise is still the, the Beetle gearbox. Um, although it's been built up, it's got a aftermarket aluminium Rhino casing with Weddell main shaft, Weddell third, Weddell fourth. It's got a chrome molly spool, chrome molly draft shafts. Um, the brakes all around is a Porsche 911 SC um, discs with golf calipers. Suspension front and back is still the, the original Beetle stuff, but with stiffer torsion bars and uh, proper sway bars on the front and back just to try and make it a little bit more stable. It's a methanol engine which helps quite a bit for cooling. On the motor itself I've got a, a Porsche 911 fan shroud kit from Fat Performance. It's got a big oil cooler right in the front of the motor and it's dry sump. So it takes about 12 litres of oil in the complete system, which, which helps to, to keep it nice and cool. I haven't tracked around it that much yet. Um, we've got some, some drag slicks for it. On, on the track, it doesn't feel that fast because it's all controlled. Um, when you get onto to public roads, then definitely it's a different story. It, it, it deserves respect. <laughs> We started the project about 10 years ago and uh, it was a bare shell and I had a floor pan and that's about it. The, the motor came from my dad's old race car from probably 98. There's been years of development has been put into it. It's not something that you just buy over the shelf. So on, on the motor itself, yes, you can buy the crankshaft which goes into the block as it is, but you need to clearance it. The, the barrels that we used in it is uh, from Magiris Deitch diesel trucks 
that you specifically need to make work. So it's not a it's not a case that you can just bolt it in and go. It's it's a whole process to to make it work, and it makes it unique. So there's no other motor like this in the world, seeing that it's it's been built by my dad. It's just something different. It's uh, it's got a half cage in the back of the car, and it's got. Uh, semi race seats with proper four-point um, seat belts. So it's all got all the, all the right bits to try and make it as safe as possible. It's got all the stopping power. It's, it, the, the brakes are better than the tyres, so there's no issue with the braking side at all. My, my main line of business is uh, engine control units. I'm a distributor for Spitronics, which is a locally manufactured uh, brand. Majority of my sales, I would say, is on the export side, where I do plug and play complete looms, mainly in the Toyota market. Look, I think the, the VW Beetle has got its own thing to it. Um, it's difficult to explain it. Once you enter the, the Beetle crowd, it's, uh, it's difficult to get out. For the same kind of money, you can probably go buy a Golf 6 or Golf 7, which will be faster, but uh, it's not the same thing. It's, you know, if you uh, end up racing a new Porsche with a Beetle and a Beetle wins, it's just, uh, it's just different. Look, it's definitely rewarding being able to do everything yourself, but I think more to it is the, the family time. So the time I get to spend with my dad, with my family. It's, it's a family thing, it's not a, I wouldn't just call it a racing thing, it's a, it's a family thing that we all get into. The hours and nights that we've spent in a garage, it's just priceless. It's something that you can't explain. And there's so many people, unfortunately, will never be able to, to enjoy it with their family. It's, it's definitely precious. Are you busy trying to decide between two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, six cars? We have an excellent compare tool on our site which will help you make sense of all the different pricing and all the different specs. You'll find it on our main site as well as in our app. It's super slick, it's easy to use, it's highly detailed, it's constantly updated with the latest information and pricing and I can guarantee you it'll make your life a ton easier. Check it out on our website, link in the description below. Keep your adventure alive because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. Cars.coza.